So, start off with some strawberries. Wait, mm. <laughs> we're not start off. Ah, funny. Okay. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago, me and James went to a vegan festival in Cardiff. Uh, James actually did a vlog, so if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description and make sure to subscribe to his videos as well. Um, while we were there, we tried loads of fantastic uh, vegan alternatives. There was like hot dogs and burgers and curry and there was like, like tons of stuff. Um, but apparently it's not the biggest one, so I'm going to be going to a couple more in the future. Um, when we were there, we... Um, we stopped at what looked like a fruit and veg kind of shop and what they were talking about was these veg boxes you could get delivered to your home um, weekly, fortnightly, monthly etc um, with different variations of fruits and vegetables. Um, I really like this idea because um, I want to start cooking more like whole foods vegan um, like meals and stuff like that um, and also he started by giving us like like a free book by just signing up and like something free is always you know a winner. What's really cool about this book actually is that it's spring and summer veg. Um, they're not entirely vegan and um, there are like vegan and vegetarian um, recipes in there but it's not the only one so I'm sure I can just make them like vegan. Um, but what I really like, um, because I'm not clued up on uh, what the annual like what, you know like seasonal vegetables and stuff like that and um, this is the um, spring and summer I think that's yeah spring and summer veg um, and inside there it says all the lists of the different vegetables um, and then what's also really cool is that it'll start by talking about the vegetable um, and then say about how you can store it, prep it, cook it in different ways which I think is really interesting um, especially for um, me who might not never have tried like artichoke I don't know if I've ever tried that so it's really cool like that um, so that was like a really nice giveaway um, but onto the box so I went with a medium box first because I wanted to see how much you get for your money and um, what's nice about this is it's all organic and it helps local farmers and they, they deliver it to you so you haven't actually got to go you know far and wide for these different things and um, so when we were there he gave us some like organic apples which I don't know whether I was just style struck by it all but I just thought they were the nicest tasting apples ever so that was also like a plus um, but yeah, this is a veg box, not a fruit one, because the fruit one costs a lot more and they're, I don't know, he says something about they're not easily grown here or something like that. So I'm going to start opening the box now. I just want to like quickly look at the box first, though. I really like how it's designed. Um, at the top where it says 100% organic fruit and veg. Um, I like the fact that you have to give this box back. Um, push you to full box, thank you for that. Um, we can use this box up to 10 times, so that's really nice. It's like reusable um, and stuff like that And I just don't think it's like really sweet the design on there So inside the box, um, I you can see on the website what you're ordering So it's not actually a surprise, but I ordered this a couple of weeks ago because we were away, etc So I actually can't remember what we ordered. So starting off we have some tomatoes um, They look really nice and oh my god, these look amazing. I'm obsessed with mushrooms so I'm gonna be using these um, very soon. Um, what else do we have? We have some baby spinach with their own logo on it and everything. So I wonder how they package that. Like, where did it get taken from? Fresh from the farm. Please wash before eating. Keep in the fridge. Um, so yeah, that's nice. What else have we got? Oh, we got carrots, and they've actually got like, the stalks left on them. Like, oh, look how cool they look. <laughs> they ain't gonna make a mess. But yeah, um, I might put them in curries, I might make some stews, um, yeah, they definitely need a wash. But yeah, they're fine. I'm going to put them in there. Ooh, I've never actually... Have I tried rhubarb before? Uh, yeah, I've never actually cooked with rhubarb, and I think I noticed as well. It also came with that I forgot to show you. I'll have to just substitute the milk and the eggs. But that's given me a recipe for rhubarb, which is really helpful. And the book also has some um, things about rhubarb in there, because I never cooked with it. I mean, I literally have no idea what I'd do with this. <laughs> but, it's all a learning experience. <laughs> what about on this bag? No. Yeah, so, this, so there's little potatoes in there, which is good because we make um, mashed for chefs pile up and we can boil them, we can make them into little chips. Then we've got a couple of onions. I think we've got five, I think. Yeah, we've got five onions. We also have, I think this is a spring onion. I, 
What is it? I don't know where it is. What is it? It's my Garlic! Oh yep. my god! There's um in your little white thing there. I'll look in there. Um, this so is James, by the way. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, there. So you have your free. That's your wet garlic. Is your free Whoa, one for this this batch. That's exciting. So wet garlic storage prep cooking tips. It's milder and sweeter than mature garlic, so you can add it to plenty of plenty of it to dishes. Think of it as a garlicky spring onion. It does look like a spring mm. onion. See. I can see you've been reading this then, have you? Yep. And then we have some... Are they runner beans? No. There's something. Oh wait, hang on. Flat beans. <laughs> Actually, if you're ever confused, what you get in your box, it says for there. <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> okay, so that's really cool. There's also a letter. A letter? There's a letter that it came with. So this got delivered to James's work because um, we both live in flats, so it would be kind of pointless to get it delivered there. Um, and then there's like a tomato. Live life on the veg. It's very cute. Um, hello, we are Janet and John, your local veg team, and then a number. Um, and then yeah, there's some like little like pointers to help you with your box. So like so far so good. And then there's some more A to Z stuff. They literally, they give you so much information, like even if they give you something you've never tried before, then they're gonna let, let you know how to cook it and, and stuff like that, which I think is really helpful because, you know, I don't think a lot of us got taught how to use these different, like kale, I, I only learned about that like a year ago. You know, globe artichoke, like some things you just don't know how to, like how do you even pronounce that? Like, but it's a vegetable, so. It gives you tips and like how to store it and cook it, which I think is really useful and really nice. Rhubarb, look, there it is. <laughs> there it is, okay. Fresh from our fields, April to June. So everything is seasonal, everything is in date, everything is fresh and organic, and I think it's really, really good value for money. Um, what I plan to do with this lot is cook like big batches of meals and then freeze them and then enjoy them for like a couple of weeks to a month. Um, I think that's the best way to get most of your money out of this, especially for me personally, because I'm going to be mostly eating this myself. James doesn't like vegetables, anything green, anything healthy, none of it. So this is all for me, really. Um, so I think I can spread it out for like maybe a month or maybe like a couple of weeks to a month or something like that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'll leave some information. I'll leave a link to their website if you're interested. Um, they do loads of different size boxes, they do little fruit bags, etc. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, subscribe for more videos like this um, and let me know what you thought of the box in the comments. Uh, thank you, bye!